Hey guys, what's up? RJ here, back with another video. And today we are going to be simply talking about how you can simply get your professional email for free using GoDaddy. Like many people pay $10 a month for G Suite or if they use another services. So it's a little expense and it goes over and over if you see because if anyone pays $10 a month, he's paying $120 a month and for people who are living in some countries, it's like much more. So today we are simply talking about how to get a professional email for simply free that I'm like using and my team members are using like we have five professional emails over our domain for free and we are using for a year now we haven't paid a single dollar the only thing that you simply need is a godaddy domain so today we are going to be diving in how to get your professional email using godaddy so first of all you need to get yourself a domain from godaddy as you can see that there are like many domains that i have right now and second thing that you need to do is you need to go into your setting over your avatar on the top right go to my products first of all because i haven't set up a professional email for that particular domain i'm going to do everything alongside you guys so let's dive in as you go to my products and there's an option for products like you you can simply see that there is option for email forwarding so manage all because i have like a more than two or three domains like multiple domains do manage all and if you have one then you can simply choose that, that because we are going to set the professional email over email forwarding so that we can simply receive the email and also we can send the email over there So, like as you can see that it's now opened and what we simply do is that we will choose our forwarding email that we have right now. What we can simply do is we can create a new Okay, we need to create a new account. Not we need to create a new account, we will set up forwarding. Create forward. And forward this email address on that address, we will use the new address that we are going to use for our domain. Like I will use support at the rate of affiliate xmastermind.com. And the second thing that we need to put in is where the email should be forwarding so i will write here my gmail account name where i want that email to be forward so you don't need to uh check mark this one otherwise any spam email will come to your account as well so it's totally fine and create the email So now we need to check one more thing that our everything is all right. Now, as you can see that there are not any MX records were found. So what it means by MX record is if you haven't set your MX record, you will not get yourself the emails if anyone sent over your forwarding email. So we need to set that SMTP settings in our GoDaddy DNS settings. Or if you have bought domain from other servers, you can simply do that for that what you can simply do is go for my product simply go for my product and what you can simply do is you can go for DNS settings over here and you can simply click on it and once you got into it now you need to add that DNS settings over here in your records so basically those are ms mx records and the host will be at and points to smtp secure it shows over here because i've used that uh, method multiple times and priority will be zero 
now first ms mx record is done we need to create an another one it will be add as well and mail dot mail store dot secure server priority will be 10 over here and it's done now what we'll do is that we will check out and see if it's working or not so we will check out from here this is my original like gmail account so we will send the mail over that affiliate mastermind generally so support at the rate of affiliate x mastermind dot com and it's a test so all right like we've sent it and let's check out and see how it works out that have we got ourselves the mail or not if we refresh it we should get ourselves the mail now as you can see that we got ourselves the mail over here hi so it's like out forwarding the email so if someone else send us the email it's totally done now what we need to do is we need to set the email so that we can simply use that professional domain to send emails to other people for free so for that step what we simply need to do is first of all you need to go into settings you need to go into settings and settings once it's done what will you will do is account and import and on account and import you will add another email address because there will be already a one on gmail and i have the another one that i've created for my domain's name and i will create one more add another email address so later on what you simply need to do is you will name it over here what you want to name of your account like i will do it affiliate x mastermind you can simply change it later if you want and here you will write the email that you have created over there support at the rate of at the rate of affiliate X mastermind.com once it's done go to the next step and on the next step they will ask the SMTP servers and for the SMTP server what you simply need to do is you will create an account on SMTP to go I've already logged in into it and once it's done there are like few things that you simply need to do the first thing is you need to create a new smtp user if you are already creating account for the first time then you will have only one uh, this section will be hidden like for privacy purposes as i have like five accounts over my domain like five people who are in my team and other than this what you simply need to do is add smtp user okay add smtp and what you simply do is so what you simply will do is you will add a new smtp user over here but as you can simply see that 
I have already have an account over here like username what we have I'm about to use because I've already used that email for one time so you will name the username here like your email and your password will be this one so if I use it my previous account because I will use the exact same one this and this will be the username that I need to copy and paste it over there and this is going to be the password and the port will be 25 and other than this this server will generally be mail.smtp2go.com it will be the server mail.smtp to go we need to change that over here mail dot smtp to go dot net I guess it was smtp to go dot com it was smtp to go dot com and you just need to add account I guess like I just need to copy it once again paste it and it's done now what simply happen is I will get a verification code a confirmation call code over my email that I'm using for email forwarding and over here I will get myself an email and if you can see that you ju I just got the email and here is the code that I need to put in into it like it haven't copied it now it's going to be done and verify once it's verified it's totally done one more thing there is one more step that simply need to do is we need to verify our domain in our sender domains so that uh, the emails don't go into the spam folder so the other thing that we simply need to do is we will use our domain affiliate x mastermind dot com and add a domain and we need to add a few C names to see that if it works properly like three C names over here and we will go in our domain manager we add, we need to add few more SMTP few more DNS efforts like all of them are C names this one sometimes make sure that if this one doesn't work there is another one that you can simply use if I use this one right now let's see if that works out or not okay let's check out if that one is verified it haven't verified this one so if we use this one it shouldn't be an issue So So now if we try and see if the first one is done or not the first one is done now what we'll need to do is we need to add a new CNAME record and this one over here and see now if it works 
so we need to use the lower one because we need to verify both of them and they have provided multiple options to see so now it should work okay so the first one is verified for the second one let's try this one again and see if that works out now okay let's see now let's try this one for the lower one we are already using this one what if we try this one because it takes a little time to verify it sometimes but it do work sometimes it happens in the first time sometimes it doesn't we need to check out once everything is done we have copy so what I will simply do is I will get back into the video once I get this verified because it is a step that simply happens sometime in a minute and sometimes it takes a little long time so I will get back into the video once I get this done. So finally guys it's done and if you can check out and see that it's totally verified and right now I'm trying to do the verification and see if I'm sending the message and does it works or not. So right now I'm doing it and I'm sending the message over my recent domain email service that I'm uh, like I've created right now and I'm sending the message to see from that particular email that if it works or not and once we send the message and then check out then see because it works or not let us open the another uh, gmail account and see that have we got the email from that professional email that we just created right now or not so if we refresh it right now and see now as you can simply see that we just got ourselves the message so like it totally works and you can simply see that we got yourself ourselves the message and now like it's totally done now if you like this video make sure to like and subscribe and also hit the notification bell on for more content peace out